Did you have to restart it again? Yep, we are live. Really sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen. Do apologise. Um, please let me know if everything's okay now. Um, really do apologise for that, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, big sorry there. Won't be a moment. Okay, so, stream sound seems to be perfectly fine at the moment. Uh, won't be a moment there, guys. Excellent. So I am going to let the cyborg just uh, give you a bit of a recap of qualifying. Uh, just why I fix these technical difficulties. If the screen does go a little bit funny, it's just because I am fixing something, guys. Thanks, Cool right, Pro. So really appreciate it. Right now, we still have Kaiser at the top with a 154.9. Um, he is about to start he's just starting a flyer though so with half a tank of fuel so we should see him jump up charm has put in an amazing lap of a 55 2 there to jump up into second place currently um he will need to grab another set of tires to beat that time yeah. Benny, who is also on another fly, but he's still sitting in third place currently with his 55.7 as his fastest. Um, Clinty will be starting from the back, so he does have a 56.0 at the moment, so he's got some decent pace, um, but won't it won't help him in qualifying. So and captain is go on. Oh, I was going to say, look at the captain in fifth position at the moment. Uh, but that lap time by Kizza, 154.9, that's that's a very quick lap. It is. It's very quick. I'm keeping an eye on him at the moment just to see where his next sector is going to be at. Um, he's, he's got a lot less fuel than he did when he done that time. So, oh, he's, he's behind. I think he might have run into some traffic there. And we've got DJ Brain. Check, check, y'all. Uh, this is his first proper supercars run, so looking forward to seeing how he goes tonight. Uh, then we've got Dadson, who's one of our reserve drivers tonight. Uh, should be fantastic. Looking forward to that. Then we've got Pruski, old mate, uh, in currently in eighth position. Then we've got Dan the Man, who's in ninth. Then we've got Dazza, who's in tenth. Um, then we've got The Good Doctor. Uh, for my teammate for Blacklight, there in 11th. And then we've got Dilza, Dugga Dugga. Um, we've currently got Noble, who's not qualifying, and also SS Boys decided not to qualify for, for tonight. That's a very good position to be up to currently for DJ Brain for his first supercars run. Yeah, definitely. I Nothing's... mean, six positions, fantastic. We've got a lot of quick guys in this field. Um, you know, back to Super 2A, you know, we've, we've got drivers who are Group A material, so... Yeah. Oh, was that a little compliment? Oh, thanks, mate. <laughs> well, definitely. Definitely you are Group A material. Um, you're, oh. you, you're putting down times that would put you on the podium in Group A, so... See, ladies and gentlemen, that is how you get yourself in the box quicker. <laughs> Thanks for the bits, Filthy. Appreciate it. Uh, so, yeah, Filthy's uh, giving us some bits tonight. If you saw the post the other day, Filthy also likes showing us his legs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Charm. We just missed the Charm. Just jumps into second position there. So, great lap there by Charm. Fantastic. Really great lap. 
He's oh. about to start a fly now too, so. We might jump on board for him a bit. Looking there at Charm now as he heads down the main straight, building up speed. Looking at probably 260 kilometers an hour. Breaks it nice and late. Gets a good turn in. Oh, the rear end wanted to step out there. He controlled it though, which is great to see. I find you've got to really control the oversteer uh, on this track. Because a lot of tight turns where it requires a lot of sort of very nice on the throttle. Yeah, oh, yeah, he just yeah. got a bit sideways yeah. again. Is that commentator's curse? I hope yeah. not. He's, yeah. uh, it's, it's just a few corners where the car definitely is a bit more tail happy. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> yep, that, that's, that's cool. very tail happy. Yeah. He won't get another shot. Oh, that. look at that. Clinty Gogo now. He's starting off the back, but I believe this is a little psychological bit of warfare here. Just letting everyone know that hey, I might be off the back, but I'm carrying some serious pace. We've got Kaiser, who's just done a purple sector by almost two tenths in the first sector. Oh, it? wow. Might jump on board for this lap because this could be something pretty special. Heading down now to Dunlop. Really not a fan of this corner. Feels like it goes he's, on forever. He's very smooth. He uses all those ripple strips and it doesn't even twitch. He's lost a little bit of time there, but mm. he's... Uh, we'll, he's hopefully he'll make it up and, and doesn't come up to traffic. Now about to head through Warnista Curve. Love this call. This is a great corner. Love that corner so much. Now heading up to Ad Van Bogen. He's up by three, three and a half tenths. This could be a real special lap, ladies and gentlemen. Now he's just got NGK to go. Lovely, beautiful. beautiful. Line. Just got Coca-Cola. Captain gets out of the way. That's great to see. This could be a really quick lap, ladies and gentlemen. Get excited. Hard on the gas now, unleashes 500 horsepower, and goes oh, bang! Beautiful. A 154.3 shot fired. Absolutely nailed it. That was a fantastic mm. lap, that was so clean. G'day Moff, hope you're well mate. That was a fantastic lap. That that's that's a shot fired to everyone. Well, we've got Ben in third, who is currently one tenth up on Kaiser's time after the second sector. Oh wow! This could be very interesting, Benny. Here now, Ben, have a good chat with Benny during the day. Uh, he feels like he's got really consistent race pace. Uh, he's pretty happy with his race pace at the moment, so. He's dropped a little bit, but he's still eight tenths up on his, which was a 55-2. That is still in the running for the top position. Nice so three. both of the uh, Alpha Racing Team boys here have got a, a quick. Just got Coca-Cola to go. Gets it through Coca-Cola. Nice line. Takes that very tight line. Gets a beautiful drive out. What's this going to do? Will this put him on second? Oh, oh. yes. Oh, wow. That puts him a clear second on the grid. Great qualifying there by Benny. Oh, the Alfalfa boys are fired up tonight. Oh, and that's qualifying done. Wow, that was clutch. That was super very, clutch. Very clutch. Well, there you go. Wow, what a what a qualifying. That was unbelievable. So what we're going to do now there, guys, is we'll just wait for Brocky to set the grid. Uh, then he'll read out his grid for us. Uh, and then we can get underway racing. So big thank you to all our viewers tonight. Uh, I do appreciate you guys with our little technical difficulties there. Uh, appreciate you guys sticking around. means a lot. Thank you very much for that. 
So that's really So that's really great to see. You guys are awesome. Uh, so as guys always in chat, throw down your winners, throw down your driver of the day, throw down any questions you might have just while we are in this sort of holding pattern at the moment. Uh, Wardo, turn one with a smiley face. <laughs> Uh, Mighty Mo, backing my old team tonight. Oh, uh, Mr. Brent, Charm, Daylight, Noble, big call, big call. That's completely unbiased as always. Um, Grim Death, let's go, Aston. Oh, geez, bit of fence sitting there. Uh, Jim Bob, Clinty Go Go, DBR. Uh, massive, I want to give a quick shout out too to Jim Bob, who's unfortunately had to step away this season uh, due to a brutal thumb injury. Um, as you know, when your thumb's not working, it's a bit hard to drive. Uh, so he has stepped down. Really great sportsmanship there because uh, he wants the Dent Brothers to get the maximum points possible. Uh, but we are going to try and see if we can get him in the box at a later date uh, to have a good chat with him. So big thumbs up from me. No pun intended, uh, Jim Bob. Uh, Uncle Davey, Fat Bottom Girls on for four in a row. Oh, wow, okay. Uh, D, Kizza and Noble Ding Donger. <laughs> uh, <laughs> love it. Great stuff. Uh, Captain, Tom3. Uh, filthy records it's going to be on as well. On just like your modelling career, mate. Well, <laughs> if we're going to give our qualifying performances, Benny, for me, has the stamp of approval. To be only point one off Kizza, that is a fantastic qualifying. Well done. And not only that, to do it within with about five seconds to spare it was just perfect timing he's been watching you mate that's something you'd do <laughs> so my pick of the race tonight um i really think look to be honest i think kiz is going to be very hard to beat he will be it's just going to be how he plays his fuel strategy that's going to be the biggest the biggest determining factor. Yeah, turn one's definitely going to be interesting. So not long there, guys. We're just waiting for the grid to get sorted. Look at this. Look at these guys all bunched up together, 100%. This is this is great stuff. Uh, all right, so Uncle Davey, I would not want to be the cones at turn one. <laughs> uh, Excalibur, God, those toll BMWs look good. Yeah, they do. They look fantastic. Uh, big fan of that. That looks really great. I know Uncle Davey, I know what a fat bottom girl is, mate. I know it's Yaston Martin. See, where I call my uh, Hyundai Michelle after Michelle Rodriguez. <laughs> Looking down at the captain now. What's the captain going to do? It's going to be interesting here. The captain hasn't been feeling overly confident on this track. Uh, but you know the captain, he'll, he'll race hard. There's no doubt about it. And after winning last round, he should be full of confidence. Looking there at Dadson, stepping up as a reserve. So, be interesting to see how Dadson oh, yeah. goes. There is a little glitch on my end. Uh, that seems a lot better though, mate. Yeah, Mike seems a lot better. <laughs> 
uh, was I slight echo. didn't set the grid. Oh. Based on, I can change that now. Set by host. That shouldn't reset them, I hope. No, it didn't. Good. Okay, I'm just going to set them now and then I'll give you your, your grid. Excellent. So look at that. They look fantastic. Look at them all very well behaved as well, these group B boys. Ah, oh, two words. How are you, mate? Look at this. These guys. Oh, this is fantastic. Uncle Davey, Captain has been a wedding all weekend, so no practice the last few days. Strategy will be key and we'll think we'll be on for a podium. And probably drunk. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So we won't be too far away from a start here, guys. This will be a very interesting race. I'm um, looking forward to this. Just looking there at DJ Brown. Check, check, y'all. Had a very interesting soup, uh, race the other day. Oh, Wardo, shots fired in chat. <laughs> Last time Captain was tired of Brands reverse gate. <laughs> oh, Wardo. <laughs> tired, bloody hell. All right, not long to go there, guys. We won't be far away. All right, I've got a grid for you. Far away, sir. All right, so pole position is Kaiser, uh, who did a uh, 54.397 followed by Ben Downton who did a 54.5 uh, third we had Charm with a 55.2 fourth we had Dan with a 55.7 uh, fifth DJ Brain which is an amazing turnout for him with a 55.8 uh, six we had Captain with a 56.0 Seven, we had Dadson with a 56.6. Eighth, we had Prusky with a 56.9. Ninth, we had Dazza with a 57.2. Tenth, we had uh, The Good Doctor with a 57.4. Eleventh, we had Dilza with a 59.6, followed by SS Boy, Clintico, and Noble. So round out the uh, call five. That's our grid, ladies and gentlemen. So, very interesting grid. Uh, especially with a couple of guys coming off the back. So, we've got some real quick guys coming off the back, which is going to be... Uh, ooh, hold on for your hats. Okay. I'm just going to get the uh, safety car out there. Just in time, I think. <laughs> Looks like it. So we're going to have the beautiful Peter Mac GTR safety car driven by the cyborg. So and now, just a word of advice here, mate. Uh, a couple of things. Don't bin it because we will make you know about it. And you don't need to set the fastest <laughs> lap here. Already done. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Uncle Davey, Captain was half a second quicker at the start of the week, so he should be on it if he keeps it straight. Well, that's the other thing with the Nurburg ring. You actually raise a very good point there, Uncle Davey. Um, I find this track of punishes mistakes quite hard. So if you just keep it smooth, keep out of trouble, uh, especially the Aston with its fuel burn rate um, and that as well, I think, yeah, you, you should be on for a really good result. Uh, so definitely looking forward to that. This is, this is going to be really good to see. I'm very much looking forward to this race. There will be some... I don't want to jinx it, but... Oh, jeez, you've got some... Uh, with fast guys at the back, can they be calm? Can they pick their way through the field? I mean, oh. You know, a, a lot of... The pit strategies are a big play in this at this track. They were in the, the, the previous few races. Um, so... The guys at the back can definitely get through up to the front. 
it's just going to be about their patience and making the passes at the right locations. Yeah, I feel sort of the Aston has a bit of an advantage here, especially with this fuel save capacity. Um, that was sort of what I felt when I was racing. I, I had the pace of the guys at, of the Aston up front, but just because it could save fuel, it absolutely burned me in the pit stops. Yeah, well, that, it, it can save the fuel. The downside with the Aston is it does have an issue where if you do short shift it on this track in particular you you can lose you know about half a second at least in your lap times um to not to, to compared to if you're changing it up higher in the rev range and uh yeah. it, it does you do lose out a little bit there but it like i said it's all going to be about patience because if you're patient you'll gain something in the uh in the pits definitely okay I'm going to pull off and let them go. All right, guys, we're now. about to go racing. This is going to be absolutely unbelievable. Kiz is going to start him off from the front row. Benny Downton will be next to him. A couple of guys really fighting hard to try and get back into Group A. I just hope this doesn't start me anywhere in, in the middle. Points are a premium. Four day through our supercars about to be unleashed around the Nurburg ring. Round three, Group B. Pressure's on because Group A beckons. Tension rising. This is what we look forward to on a Sunday night. 5,000 horsepower about to be unleashed. One light, two lights, three lights, four lights. Racing! And everyone does get off the line fence. Oh, we've got a Stoller, it looks like, in the back. Is that a Stoller? We've got, we got Noble who hasn't oh, got off the line. Dear, oh dear, we may have a f black flag, red flag, turquoise and orange flag. <coughs> Oh dear, that looked like a ripping start, but geez, at the moment we'll wait until it gets cold. Kiz is, oh look at this, he's out to 1.4 seconds. He has absolutely brained them. Oh, that is Brock-esque. What a start. But there is a black flag, guys, black flag. So for our guys that are familiar uh, with our black flag procedure here at Throughhouse, uh, we ha basically have... Uh, three starts. Uh, two starts are standing. Uh, three, uh, three starts. I believe it's three starts. Um, if you cannot get off the grid by that third time, uh, unfortunately, uh, you will have to drop out of the race. Uh, so we're just waiting for a couple of guys. There's always one that has to sit there and complete a lap. <laughs> All right, beautiful. Everyone has gone. I'll just double check. Just as I called the black flag, his car started moving, so... Oh, interesting. Not sure there. Just double checking. So, big thank you to all our viewers tonight. Uh, as usual, Group B always provides drama. <laughs> um, we wouldn't have Group B any other way, would we? Uh, so you've got to got to throw something in the mix. Exactly. This is classic Group B. I love Group B. There's a main reason, like, don't me wrong, I love calling Group A and I love calling the Super 2 boys, but ever since I've started this, I've always loved calling Group B. Uh, it just seems, yeah. I can tell you right now, every Group B race I've called, um, <laughs> Basically, I've, at the end of it, I need five minutes just to go, oof, jeez. <laughs> okay, I'm starting again. All right, so we're about to go racing. Restart two, we've had a red flag. They've repaired the track.
Hopefully, Restart. hopefully we'll have a clean, clean move off the line this time. Here we go now. Can Kizza get another lightning start here? This is going to be real crucial. The BMW has been very quick off the line. The tension will be real now. Heart rates will be real, absolutely bursting out of their chest. We're at two lights. We're at three lights. We're at four lights. And we are racing. And oh no, it looks like Noble's had another stall. That is drama. That's huge drama for Alpha Motorsport. He's moving. He is moving. It looks like we're moving the station. Oh, does everyone get through? Benny Downs on the outside. If we can make this stick, that's a huge statement. Oh, there's a bit of a touch. There's a bit of a push. And Benny Down will lead them into the Mercedes-Benz Arena. Oh, can he make that stick? There's another touch. Oh, these boys are playing for Keith. Classic Group B. Oh, this is, oh, there's drama in the background. There's huge drama. Oh, who's that gone? Oh, we've had mess. The captain's like gone. Captain. And Dadson, and Kiz is down to 13th! Oh, we've had drama! Oh, wow, Group B does it again. We'll see if we can get a three-house.com shop replay. What's happening to the toys? Oh, there's been massive drama. Oh, dear, oh, dear. But heading back up the front now, Benny Downton's got a nearly a second gap. He is uh, he's pulling away here. He was semi-confident for this race, but look at him go. He's got Charm right behind him, DJ Brain. Oh, what a great start. Look at the Dead Brothers. Clinty Gogo has made an absolute rocket. Far out. What a start by Clinty Gogo. He's chatted with his inner Scotty Mac and he has launched it off the line. Dan the man's in fifth position. Great start by Dan. Solid start. Dazza there in sixth. Prutsky in seventh. The good doctor's moved up to eighth. Fantastic. But heading back up the front now. Oh, look at this. Charm's reeling him in big time here. Might jump on board with Charm to see where the gap is, where he's making time, where he's losing time. Looking back there at DJ Brain. Clint to go. So the Dim Brothers definitely playing the team game here. This is great stuff. But look at Benny Downton. What a great opening lap there by Benny. Fantastic. Heading down yeah, I missed, uh, missed all that drama. <laughs> <laughs> Heading down now. Oh, now that's interesting there. Charm takes a very different line through turn one. Uh, really bottoms the car into head into the Mercedes-Benz Arena. Now I can oh. give you the hot tip. The Hyundai is absolutely beautiful through here. Oh, a bit of understeer there by Benny though. We saw that. That's going to give Charm a bit of confidence. He's going to be like, right. I know where he's strong, I know where he's weak. Looking there at the Dip Brothers. Will Team Orders come into play? Considering Clinty's in the championship fight and DJ Brains just his first race, will he do a Fabian and flick on the indicator? We'll wait and see. Got a great battle here from 8th, 9th, and 10th as well. Oh, look Seven, at this. 7th, 8th, 9th, and 10th. Look at this. We've got the Captain Noble and the Good Doctor here. They're getting real stuck in. Noble now up the inside. Is he going to send it? No, he doesn't. Oh, look at him and the captain too wide. The good doctor's just got to place the car in the right position. Yeah, definitely. I think captain's idea is just to tuck up behind Noble and, and follow him through if he makes a pass. That's got danger written all over it though, doesn't it? Oh, no, no. Oh, Noble! Oh, the captain sends it as well. Oh, the good doctor's lost two positions oh, there, unfortunately. I think Noble's redressing. Was he redressing that? No. But Captain oh, made but, up two positions. Yeah, Captain's absolutely stormed past Noble there, so I don't know. Oh, look at near Kiz. Look at near yeah. That's aggressive. That's very. Oh, double touch, three touches. Oh, oh, that. Oh, oh, I'm just going to leave that one alone. Just having a look there at the good doctor. What happened? Hmm, interesting. Yep. Um, heading back up the front. Oh, wow. Now, what's happened here? Charms had a moment. Charms had a moment. We'll all see if we can get a 3 com shop replay. No, it, so it was definitely after that. So Charms had a big moment. Oh, wow. So that's allowed Benny to get a four-second gap out at the moment. That's really opened the door for him. Ah, yes. Roger's got on the phone. 
Clinty Go goes now past DJ Brain. So Charm now has dropped two positions. He went from second to fourth. So we don't know what happened there. There will be an interesting race review after that. Look at Dan. This is why Dan's one of my personal favourite racers. He has kept him... Look at that car. There is not a scratch on it. And he's just playing himself in there in the fifth position. Great stuff, Dan. Dazza with a fantastic drive up to sixth position. Great stuff, Dazza. Seventh, old mate Pruski. Just keeping around, hanging around, doing the classic Pruski drive at the moment. Eighth is Noble. Danny being the silent achiever here, just nailing them at the moment. He's got a 5.1 second lead. Looking there at Kisser in 10th position. Then we've got the good doctor there in 11th. Uh, he'll play the strategy game. Don't worry about that. Looking there at Datsun in 12th. SS Boy in 13th. And Dills and Dugga Dugga in 14th. Uh, there'll be a plenty of pride between these two who finishes on top of each other. I can give you the hot tip right now. But heading back up the front now, Benny with a five second gap. As you heard the cyborg let you know that he is absolutely on it at the moment. Look at there, Clinty Go Go. So, oh, look at this battle here. Oh, battle. yes, Charm does get past DJ Brain. Check, check, y'all. We'll see if we can get a threehouse.com shop replay. <laughs> So he's on the outside into NGK. If he made that stick, he does. That's a lovely move. Great move there by Charm. Well done. It's allowed Dan to come up on the back of them as well now. Just having a look at uh, tyres and fuel. Look in there at Dan. He's, he's right on the back of DJ here. So he's got a bit of a sniff, Dan. Now, if you know Dan, I've watched a lot of racing here. I've watched a lot of racing of Dan, and he, he won't... He's very patient. He won't send it. He'll just think about it. Plan his opportunity, then he'll go for it. So, out of the, the front runners at the moment, the top five, Dan has the best tyres overall, followed by Clint, who's got quite a bit more than, uh, than Benny does currently. So... If they are going a, a three-stopper, I expect Benny to um, be out of a, a lot less fields than what Clint will be. Yep. So that gap could come down. Looking there at Dan and DJ as they head through the Schumacher rest now. Maximum commitment that corner. Can't take it softly. You've really got to grab the wheel and absolutely fire it in there. Just looking there, Dan's car looks like it's struggling a little bit with turning. It just looks like the front doesn't want to grip up. Heading back up the front now, Benny now with a 5.5 second lead. He can almost now just start thinking about backing off just a little bit and run to a number. Flint to go, go. Two second gap from Charm. Charm now just opening a little gap there. Kaiser has, uh, by the end of the next lap, he will have only half a tank of fuel left. So it's going to be a tight one with him with fuel strategy. Interesting. Looking at this battle here, we've got Noble, we've got Kizza, we've got the captain here. After their major dramas, what can they do? The gap's only 12 seconds to the lead, so it's definitely not definitely not over here. No, they're holding a tight group. Like this whole mid-pack, like pretty much from ninth all the way down to, to second is, is a pretty close group of guys. Um, Benny's now moved out to a six second lead, so it, it, it is, I'm just checking to see whether he's short shifting. Yep. Trying to save a bit. Would you would you swap your strategy here if you're our mid pack? Um, look, if I was in Kaiser's position, I would be doing the four stop strategy the, with the condition of his tyres and fuel load right now. I would be pitting at this lap because he's in a position where he'll be in completely open air when he comes out, and he should be able to jump a few people if he puts in a quick lap. Yeah, I think. That's a good idea because the undercut works here very much so. Um, so, uh, yeah, even if I was noble as well, I'd be like, oh, you don't want to get stuck behind traffic. Just looking yeah, here at noble at exactly. the moment. 
He's catching does a leap hand over fist here. I've got a feeling a move's coming. A move's coming. Oh. Dad's so, gone a little defensive. Oh, that's a lovely defensive line there, but he should have the inside at MGK. No! Great stuff there yeah, by Dazza. Kaiser's had another incident. He's, he's back to 12th now. Oh, dear. We'll see if we can get a replay of that. Let's have a look at our threehouse.com shop replay. So it looks like we did miss the incident there, but it looks like he has had a real incident because that's dropped him right off. Oh, so our pole sitters had an absolute shocker. Oh, DJ Brain's in. Okay. First one, the blink. Surprising to see Kaiser go around a second second time. Deals as tires a, a shot as well. That was a great qualifying performance by him, though. Just looking at our leader at the moment. Currently got a 6.6 .6 second gap. He's just opened the taps of the Hyundai a little bit. On lap six, I expect Ben in on lap seven. Or maybe he's, lap six. Uh, no, he's, I think he'll be in this lap. Yeah, he's just on half a tank. His tyres are really poor right now, but he's still pulling away. Um, he's probably going to have to put a little bit of fuel in on this first stop if he's going to do a, um, another six. I think he will make it easy. Oh, look at that. We just missed that, but Dan's jumped Charm there. So Charm's had a bit of a moment as well. This has been a great drive so far by Dan. This has been a fantastic drive. He's got the pen right, Hyundai, absolutely hooked up. Looking it's just back. great. We get to see more of it. Yeah. Oh, look. Oh, look out. Charm's had a moment there. So he's lost a lot of time. They're heading into NGK now. We get the cyborg to keep Charm an eye on the pits. Actually has, he actually has the worst tyres. He's, he's got a quarter left on his tyres. Okay, so Dan's in. Charm's in. And he's actually got just above a quarter of a tank of fuel left. That's how much he used in six laps he was pushing. Now, very interesting here. Clinty's come in, but Ben stayed out. You see, it's not a... It's not a bad move by Ben. He was, even at that point, he was still pulling away enough that he could bank an extra lap here. He knows he has to put a bit of fuel in. If he banks an extra lap, it'll help him later on in the in the stint if he does get jumped or he is battling. That's very true as well, actually. It's a very good point, Ray. It'll give you nice, but, fresh tyres to battle at the end. But if both, both of the Alpha boys have, are on the same strategy. They've both got the same fuel now. Noble has significantly better tyres. Um, he has got almost three quarters on his tyres at the moment compared to Benny, who's uh, under a half on his front. Yeah, this is interesting. Like you said there, Noble's playing a smart game here. Noble could really shoot up the order after these stops play out. Dazza there in third, yet to stop. So Clintigo goes first of our stoppers. So we'll wait till the field to cleanse. Then we'll get a really good idea of who's where. So we've, it's, it seems to be a, a common Hyundai thing here. So we've got Benny, Noble and Dazza who have all stayed out an extra lap here. So it'll be interesting to see whether they're going to pit now or they're going to go an extra lap over. I think an extra lap after this is, is really going to give the, the guys now on new tyres to put in a, a lap that could take a few seconds out of them. Just looking at a nice battle here between Charm and the captain. Benny's in. Benny's in, okay. I'll get you to keep an eye on that for me there, please. As we're looking Noble at Noble is also in. We're looking at a fan. Look at this, the captain and Charm. So Charm's had another interesting race so far. Car just looks very loose at the moment. Stick with Ben. Ben's out already. He oh, took wow. a bit of fuel. So Benny has come out with Clint on his bumper. So he but he did put fuel on. Clint hasn't uh, taken on any fuel. Okay. Oh, look at this! Look at this! We got a battle for the lead, ladies and gentlemen. 
So Benny just gets out in front of Clint, as you heard there, explained in perfect detail by the cyborg. He does have some emotion, ladies and gentlemen, but this is a great little battle. Can, can Clinty go go get past Ben? That's the crucial part. You feel if Ben gets a second gap here, that could be real beneficial. He's pulling away as well. This has been a bit of a bit of a masterclass drive so far by Benny. I, re I really think this can this can play into his hands massively towards the end of the race. Uh, DJ Brain up in third. That's an amazing drive. That's brilliant to see him up there. That's fantastic drive. That's yeah. First so he's, he's jumped a few well. people there. He has. I still feel Noble's the one to watch here. Definitely, he's, he's hunting down on everybody here. So he's, he's only seven tenths behind Dan. He's still nine seconds behind Ben, which is where he was as they went into the pits. So it... I, I'm just not sure here the two stops worth it though. I mean, you really want tyres at the end of the race to fight with and a two stop, you're just not going to have the tyre wear. No, and, and it's almost an impossible thing to do being that they stopped at end of lap seven. They would have to put like a 10 lap stint in here somewhere really to make the two stop yeah. work. So I think they're going for three, but I think they're betting on battling at the end because of the difference in fuel with the other cars. Yeah, agreed, definitely. Just look at here at Noble on Dan. Noble's really putting the blowtorch on at the moment. As they head into the Mercedes-Benz Arena, we might jump on board the Red Bull Hyundai for Alpha for Motorsport. This has been a fantastic drive by Dan at the moment. Absolutely magnificent drive. But he's now yeah, the pressure's right on. Look at this, Noble's really putting it on now. Look at him, he's doing the lounge at every corner, showing him the nose. Oh, geez, that's risky around the outside. He's going to get hung out oh, to dry heat if he cuts it under. He's, he's oh, no. going to Chris him here. Oh, dear, they're side by side as they head into the Schumacher arrest. This can only end one way. Yep. Noble had to back off there now. If he gets a good run out of Schumacher, he does. Oh wow! This oh, pulls amazing. the inside. Hard. Oh, if he sends this up the inside, does he make it stick? If he does, oh, that is a great move! What a move by Noble! Absolutely, Absolutely. beautiful. He set that move up, what, three corners back, and just absolutely nailed that. That was beautiful driving. Great stuff there from Noble. The Alpha Alpha boys are yep. definitely on fire here. Just to try and force a little tiny mistake, just enough to make Dan run a little wide, entering, uh, exiting the Schumacher S, and I just allowed him to throw it up the inside. So looking there at Benny at the moment, he's got a 3.4 second gap from Clinty Gogo. Yep, he took out, uh, he's gone about a, a second quicker in half a lap here. He's on fire at the moment. He is absolutely having a fantastic race. Just got to see it. Let's go back through the field there. So looking there at Charm. In the captain in seventh position. Eighth is Dazza. The good doctor's moved his way up to ninth. Oh, Pruski with a huge dive at turn one. Off oh, he made that stick. He did. What a move. Wow. Wow. Oh, that is known as the Highland Special. Oh. Uh, he absolutely nailed that. Good doctor's not just going to let him have it. He's fighting him. Why jump on board the good doctor here for Blacklight? I was just about to give Noble move of the race, but Pruski just goes, I don't think so. That was some move. It'd be interesting to see where Captain and Pruski sit after the next round of pit stops as well. Um, again, they haven't had to take on any fuel, so um, they do usually jump a little bit over some of the cars. But, yeah, definitely. 
I was just about to sort of jump on from that point there that sort of the Astons I feel at the moment are just playing the whole a little bit of holding pattern come late in the race they will uh, definitely I think play themselves into it but Benny at the moment it's looking like the man to beat DJ's gone in for his second stop so he's, he's sticking to a four stop strategy here but look at the top four we have Dink Brothers and Alpha Racing wow look at that this is classic Red Bull versus DJ Team Penske here and I'm not sure whether Dan's had an issue here, but Captain is now up into fifth. Oh, so that... We'll just see if we can get a threehouse.com shop reply. No, it looks like the Captain might have just passed him here. The, the gap was quite large, though, so Dan may have had a small off there. Yeah. Captain just playing himself into this. So Dan has got quite a bit more fuel and tyres over capped here as well, so. Oh, Captain's just got a penalty. We are about to head no, to a missed. penalty burn zone, so he has to burn this. Yeah, he's moved over. He has moved over. Great stuff, Captain. He burnt it and he didn't lose a spot. That was beautiful. That was benchmark penalty burning right there. Look in there for us. Wow. Go ahead, sir. So just watching uh, Benny, who's now at close to six and a half seconds ahead of Clint. Uh, wow. Clint will be needing to pit Whoa! end of next lap, so. Just saw a fantastic bit of car control there by the good doctor. He had that black light Hyundai all crossed up and held onto it. Great stuff. So this battle is definitely not over between the good doctor and Prusky. Both these guys from Tasmania, so bragging rights in Tassie definitely. We're up for grabs here. Oh, look at this. Good doctor's all over Prusky here. He is all over him. Does he do the double dutch? He's on the outside at NGK. He's trying to stay in the outside. Oh, geez, that's such a risky spot. It is, but it's, it's also a great position to unsettle the person you're trying to pass because they think you're going to throw it down the inside uh, for the right-hander if they can hang on the outside. So if they leave enough room, you can make it stick. Check but this battle is going well. So we are halfway through. We are going to go through the field, ladies and gentlemen. So in first position at the moment is Benny Downton uh, with a six-second gap. So looking very strong at the moment for Alfalfa Racing. Second position for the Dip Brothers is Clint Gogo. Looking very nice there, Clint Gogo. Solid race so far. Noble has absolutely stormed through the field to get the third position at the moment. Great drive here. Fourth position is Charm. Bit of an eventful race there from Charm for Frontier, but he's doing a good job. Fifth position for Black Duck is the captain. Sixth position is Dan. Solid drive from Dan so far. Kept yourself pretty out of trouble. Seventh is Dazza. Not a bad drive from Dazza for Devil. DJ Brain, check, check you all. He's back in eighth, but he has stopped. So he's first of the stoppers. Ninth is old mate Prusky, who's got a real battle pack behind him. Followed by the good doctor. Datsun's involved here. K Kiss is involved here as well. Oh, this is going to be on. Look at this. They're four wide. Oh, does Datsun make a move on the outside? The good doctor's on the inside. Does he make that sick, Cap Datsun? Captain's a, also he, oh, been oh, catching wow. charm quite quickly. We're going to get a three-house dock-up shot replay here. I'm going to ride on board here with Datsun and find out just what happened. So he was on the outside there of the good doctor. Looks like the good doctor's... May got a little taily there. Oh, and Kiss has taken him as well. That's very interesting. Hmm. There'll be a big debrief, I feel, after the race. Oh, Benny. Oh, I thought Benny had it off there. It looked like it, but it's just taken that wide line. Oh, so look at this. The Alfalfa boys are now one and two.
Gaza now in third. Clinty go goes. Yeah, that's that's her Clint, big time. Really needed to get out in front of Dazza here. Look at him. Oh, left, right, left. He, he Dan said, has jumped captain in the pitch. And he's on the back of Kaiser now. So, great strategy there by Dan. Now, that's interesting. So, did Captain Oak maybe overfield or...? Uh, so, no. I, I don't think he did. But because uh, Ch Charm has, he's definitely put a bit of fuel in there because Captain was nine tenths behind him going into the pits and he's now a second ahead of him. Hmm, interesting. But Kaiser still got a reasonable amount of fuel on here, so I have a feeling that he uh, he might have filled his tank up in his first pit stop. I think what's interesting as well, Dan's really, if he can get past Kizza and get past him, oh, our two leaders are in, and look at that identical fuel. Tell me they're not mirroring each other. That's right, and but Noble had significantly better tyres. Again, he's he's driving very consistently, and he's very, looking after his tyres um, very well. So, look, this is going to help them at the end of the run perfectly. They might just get jumped here, though. Well, oh, this could Benny's be interesting. Out. Benny's out. Does Benny out? Benny's out. We'll check yeah, with he's... Noble. Oh, look at this! Noble's DJ Bra has just got in front of him. Oh wow! Look at this! It's like a Rapuka Koei all over again! So Noble has gained about four seconds total um, off Ben in that second stint. So he's now only six and a half seconds back. Here we go ladies and gentlemen. It is on between Alf Alpha and Dent Brothers here. The gloves are off. Captain's gone past Dan, so Dan's had an incident. I have a feeling, because um, he's, it's really tightened that group up a bit. So we just mi might have caught the end of it there. Looking there at Dan, he's going to have charm all over his back bumper very soon. Captain just quietly moved himself up to fifth position. Oh, Charm's having a good hard go here. Right jump on board the Frontier BMW. Oh, that's... Oh, oh. <laughs> that's as close as it gets. That could have been a lot worse. Great presence of mind there by Charm, just to... Just to roll out of it a little bit, that could have been major drama. Now the front runners are going to be coming up on SS Boy in a moment as well. So this could oh, play into oh. it a bit. Jeez, Charms BMW is so loose. I feel like every time we go on board, he's opposite locking, oh. he's oversteering. Krusky's just gone up the inside at the chicanes on Good Doctor as well. Moved up to 11th. We'll see if we can get that on our throughhouse.com shop replay. So looking at the two Tassie boys going at it. These two have done really well. Having a nice battle here. Oh, that's a lovely move. That's a beautiful move. Oh, Prusky is absolutely on fire with his overtakes at the moment. Gonna check him back with our leaders. So SS. Oh, oh no! Lucas, no! Wow. Turn one. Yeah, we'll want to watch a, a oh, no. replay of that one. Oh, we'll go through our stock up shop replay. What's happened to the good doctor? Let's have a look here. Is he heading to turn one? Oh, is he out breaking? Oh, he's caught on the grass. Oh, we just hit Prusky. That's a huge lose. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Black Light are always struggling for chassis. Oh, wow. Oh, he's not going to be happy about that. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Complete accident there. Couldn't be helped.
Just checking in there, Clint Go Go just posed the fastest lap there with a 154. Hey, that's a great lap. Flying. He's he wants to catch up now, definitely. Yeah. Uh Charm has cleared Dan as well. So Dan's is struggling a little bit on this tire set at the moment. DJ Brains back in for his, his third stop. And Noble's now only five and a half seconds away from Ben, so uh, and 4.2 away from Clint. So I'm not sure whether Ben's had an incident there. Yeah, I thought Ben would have pulled away by now, but he's not. Well, he was further ahead than this, and, and that's mm. come down. He did have lap traffic, though. We did have lap traffic. That's true. Yes, we did. They did come up on SS Boy, who's just moving out of the way for Noble. Beautiful. Yeah, look at the gap opening up again, Ben. It's just starting to put the foot down now. And Noble's taken the fastest lap of Clint. Wow, 54 8. 54 8. Boys are trading fastest laps here. This is real bare knuckle backyard boxing at the moment. This is going to be interesting to see how it all shakes out. It's, it's really important, I think, for Clint to try and just fuel save as much as he can here because there's only one stop left for both him and Ben. And Ben's normally six, seven seconds ahead of him by the time he pits, so being this close, um, he could actually jump Ben in the pits if he can uh, feel safe enough here. Look at these three. The Captain, Charm and Dan have been stuck at the hip the whole race. <laughs> I'll keep saying it, and I don't care if I sound biased, I'll keep saying it again. I am so impressed with Dan's drive at the moment. Oh, he's been fantastic. Mm. Now, what he wants here, he really wants Charm and the captain to get into it, get the gloves off, and he can just come in and just uh, pinch a little fourth position here. We are coming up now to the last stop, so this is where, if you've bought a ticket, it's now time to get on the ride. Well, look at this. Look at this. Noble is catching Clint here, hand over fist. This is really interesting. If the Alfalfa boys can pull off a 1-2 here, this will be massive. So they've got similar tyres. Um... Clint is going to pit end of next lap, so um, <clears throat> they will get, obviously they're going to go an extra lap than him, but Noble's got down to exactly five seconds away from Ben. So he's definitely going to have a battle for the last stint. Just looking there at Noble at the moment. If Noble can pull this off, he might, uh, that'll be your drive of the day run and done, ladies and gentlemen. Well, between him and Clinty, to start both of them off the back of the grid and move their way up to this far up the front is a fantastic effort. And he's he's got the cleanest car of the field, Noble does at the moment as well. Not a single mark. Look at it, he hasn't touched anything. Oh, he's a little squirrely there through NGK though. Looking there at the captain. Looking at Charm. Oh, look at Dan. Dan's all over the Charm here. Dan is all over Charm here. Oh, again, we just hear that BMW of Charms just sideways. Maybe the mechanics got the setups wrong. Maybe they thought they were at the Drift Nationals and put the wrong setup on. Because that thing has been sideways every time we've laid eyes on it. And Dan's going for a move here. Can he nail it down to the... Oh, Charm with the switchback. Do they nail this? They're both wide. Oh, that's aggressive. That's very... Oh, Charm! He lost the rear end. And that hands it back to Dan. Wow. What an exchange. 
Oh, here they go again. Oh. He's got no tyres. Charm's got absolutely no tyres. He's got a quarter left. Uh, that tune is not working very well. Lovely. And all of this is allowed Captain to pull yeah. away. That was fantastic. Great now, stuff Lobo there by Dan. He's on the back of Clint now. Oh, here we go. He knows, he knows Clint's got to pit this lap, I'm assuming, so... You know, it's a matter of will he push to get past, or...? You kind of just... you'd sit behind here, wouldn't you? I would. Definitely. That, that, well, that'd be my strategy, it's unless Clint is fuel-saving so much, because he's right at the bottom. If, if anything, if well, I was Clint, I would just let him go by right well, now. I don't think they got the memo, though. <laughs> I don't think they got the memo. These two teams do not like each other. There's a healthy respect here. I can give you the hot tip now. Clinty's in. So that has now, freed up Noble. Now Noble's got to get the foot this, absolutely buried to that firewall. Yep. If he can make a good gain on Ben here, it's, it's going to be an amazing battle at the end. I'm just keeping an eye on Clint. If, he, if that stint was anything to go off, he might put a little bit extra fuel in this time. Okay, Captain's in, Dan, so everyone's in. Now, what are we expecting the two Alfalfa boys here? They've got to be in this lap, surely. You've got to cover them off here. So Clint's come back out in third. Everyone else is in the pits, that's why. So, yeah, this is going to be very interesting. Yeah, it, yeah, Ben and Noble have got to come in here. They've got to come in this lap. Yeah, it, because of fuel, they, they can't make an extra lap. Tire-wise, Noble could easily go another couple of laps. Um, he's got really good tire wear compared to the other cars around him. That's that style he has. He has a very smooth... That's really, right. He just... The car, look at the attitude of the car, it just doesn't look like it's working. He points and it goes and that's that's what you want. You don't want to be fighting a car, you don't want a car like Charms driving right now. Hmm. Um, where you're just unsure to put your foot down to a corner. So all you Hyundai boys uh, definitely hit up Noble uh, for the set, hot setup. Because that Hyundai looks like it's on absolute rails. All right, so Benny's in. Does Charm follow him? No, Noble, sorry, follow him. Yes, he does. Okay. I now think Clinty's twenty seconds behind them. I think it, they, I think they're going to be fine here. I think Noble might jump Clint here. This could be huge. This could be massive. It's quite a distance away, so it does look like. Oh no! Oh, no Clinty's lost Clint it. That could be it. That could be it. Noble's down! Noble's dropped! We'll stay on board here with Clint! What ha what happens? Clint's now down the main straight. Ben's out! Does Noble Ben's get out? out? Let's Noble's find out. out. Clint's come behind. Oh, wow! wow. Alpha for a 1 2! They pulled a master stroke! This is huge! Now, Benny took more fuel than Noble there as well. Um, Noble's got under half a tank, so if he pushes too hard, it could be a, a struggle at the end, but they're, they're doing five laps left. It should be pretty good as it is, I'd say. So Team Alpha are on for the second one-two in through house history. The other one, too, of course, went to Blacklight Motorsports. So the Hyundai boys are showing everyone else how to do one-two team formation flying. This is massive. Captain in fourth position. Solid drive by the captain. Dan there in fifth. Sixth is Charm. Seventh is DJ Brain. So we don't know what's happened to DJ there. He's dropped right off the pace there. Kizzer in 8th, ninth is Dazza, 10th is Dadson, 11th is Pruski, 12th is the good doctor, 13th is Dilza, Dugga Dugga, 14th is SS Boy. 
I think with DJ Brain, his four stop has lost him a lot of time, slowing him back. He yeah. needs to pit again this lap. From eighth position, he's got to pit. So he's not looking great there, but Noble's come down to a 1.8 second gap away from Benny now. So what does Ben do here now? This is interesting because Noble's definitely higher up in the championship. Oh, is there going to be yeah. team orders here? This is going to be very interesting. This could be tr triple eight all over again. It could be. I'm just seeing if I can get a text message from Roland. He's not answering. But basically, at the moment, we have Noble currently sitting in eight in the in the championship, with Benny sitting in twentieth. Um, first or second for Noble here is not. It, it's not going to be a big issue. It should move him back up into Group A for the next round. Yep. Oh no, Benny's like, got a penalty. One point six second. That's a huge penalty. That's a massive That's penalty. He's burning it. 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 He keeps the lead though. Oh no, no, he doesn't. Noble, Noble goes to the lead. Oh wow, Noble from last to first position. Ladies and gentlemen, stand up and applaud Australia. Stand up and applaud New Zealand. What a drive. It's not over to the fat lady sings. It's not, but that's unbelievable. Ooh, oh, geez, Benny's on the ragged edge. He's on the ragged edge. He's pushing. I mean, Nick, look. They, they need to just, he need, if he settles, it's a good bank of points for the team. And I think that's the, the overall picture is the best way to look at it. Oh, chat has lit up really after that. Noble in the mix. Social media will light up as well if this sticks. This is unbelievable racing. Look at them. They are line astern. This is Perfect formation flying. This has been a cyborg-esque team operation at the moment. Unbelievable. Alpha, Alpha have just flexed their muscle big time here. Clinty Gogo in a very respectable third position, but the Mustang just has not had anything for the Hyundais at the moment. Fourth back to the captain, but a great drive by the captain. Fifth is Dan, solid as a rock, fantastic drive so far. Charm in sixth position, that's very respectable with the BMW, it looks like, that does want to kill him every corner. <coughs> Kiz has moved his way back up to seventh after some real drama. That debrief will be very interesting at Revolution Motorsport. Dazza in eighth for Devil, great drive. Ninth is Dadson. Excellent effort, Dadson. Uh, stepping up to supercars from Super 2 to be a reserve. That is a fantastic effort. Well done. DJ Brainy out of the tent. That four stops just really hurt the Mustang. 11th is old mate Pruski. 12th is the good doctor. I know the good doctor. Uh, he won't be happy with that. Not at all. Uh, he just wants to pack the car up, leave Germany as quickly as possible. 13th is Dilsen. Dugga Dugga. 14th SS boy. So in terms of the bragging rights there, Dills has got it all over SS boy at the moment. But a back up the front, these two, look at them. They are in wow. full formation here. Benny is not letting this go. Oh, he th definitely wants to try and get this. Oh, I think there's a bit of... I don't know here. I think there's a bit of gamesmanship in this. I think they want to make a real statement, but they can't be too cute because if they are, Clinton... It's still here to... This is interesting. We're on the penultimate lap now. The two Alfalfa Hyundais. Been a fantastic strategy drive, especially by Noble, to come from virtually last on the grid. That is phenomenal. Yeah, yeah well, not only did he start in 14th, but he also had that issue coming off the the line where he, he he took about four five seconds before he started going 
that is true. But yeah, wow. Well, now the question has to be asked there. Did he have an issue or did he just literally back it off? Because he knew there'd be carnage at turn one. And then just absolutely went flat out. It's hard to pick. I mean, yeah. I, I wouldn't... If I was going to go slow to turn one, I wouldn't sit in my in my lane. I, I would actually have taken off and just sat behind everyone and, and waited to let everything else unfold. But, I mean, it happened twice. I'm not sure. I'm not sure how that's going to play out because um, it did cause a, a black flag call in the first start. So... It is an so, interesting one. Start thinking about your driver of the day, guys. I think it's uh, run and done. It's no competition for driver of the day. Uh, but I will keep my thoughts after the race. Benny there in second. He's got the three tenths. Ah, oh, they're playing the game here. There's no doubt about it. They're setting this up for a formation finish. Look at this. This is a real psychological game here this is sending a message to the rest of the teams team alpha alpha are here to play for the team's championship oh benny oh, does no, he send it, it. he's, he's gone, gone for it oh wow he's made it stick he's made that wow. stick was that allowed or was that not allowed if that was allowed oh oh if i'm a team owner here i'm having a heart attack ben is the team owner so he does write the checks <laughs> yes oh but no we'll take some, oh, but, no. Oh, oh, Oh. No, that could be a penalty there. It is yeah. a penalty! 1.5 seconds! Does that bring Clinty go go back into this? I feel he's not far enough. No, I feel better be safe here. I feel better be safe here. He's just got to get wow. through here. Let off the throttle, but that's going to hand the victory to Noble. Now... Do we get a formation finish? I think after that, that turn one, one incident, that that's a no. That was crazy. That was nuts. That could have ended in an absolute I, I, disaster. For the last lap, I mean, you know, he, there really would have only been two opportunities for him to, for Nova to get back past him if he held him out through uh, turn three there. But, but this has been an wow. absolute amazing performance. Noble here was in the logic check challenge last week, decided to pull out this week because he was focused on his championship. He started last on the grid, ladies and gentlemen, and has driven all the way through the first. This has been an absolute benchmark performance. Back to Group A, ladies and gentlemen, and he has made a real statement. Stand up through house, stand up Australia, stand up the bloody world. Get around him, because what a drive from Noble. That is an absolute masterclass. Stunning. Formation finish for Alfalfa. Second was Betty. Wow. Third position and a great Amazing. drive there from Clinton. Go. Oh, no. Oh, hang on. What, what's happened here? Oh, oh, oh. That's okay. Fourth position <laughs> will be the captain. Great drive by the captain. Fantastic effort. With no feel. Oily rag. Oily rag, great stuff. Dan with a magnificent drive in the fifth. Sixth was Charm. Seventh was Kizza after an action-packed uh, race for himself there. Datsun with a... F I'm going to give Datsun a clap there. Fantastic drive, Datsun. Coming up from Super 2. Well done, son. Give yourself a pat on the back. Eighth position. Ninth position will be Dazza. Great drive by Dazza. Tenth will be DJ Brain. Check, check y'all. Eleventh position will be good old Prusky. Twelfth position, the good doctor. Thirteenth position will be Dilza. And fourteenth will be SS Boy. That is round three, group B, run and done. Wow. Woo -hoo. Now, that, that, that's a huge, huge finish there for Dadson. Um... You know, just so the viewers understand that Dadson, SS Boy, and Dilza were just fill-ins from the Super 2 series, Super 2B. Um, so for, for Dadson to get up into eight against all these supercar drivers is actually really respect, respectful. Yeah, unbelievable.
Yeah, really great stuff. Um, massive congratulations to Datsun there. But Noble, look at that, 13 positions. That was unbelievable. Wow. So recapping our results, we had Noble in first position. Second was Benny Doughton. So a 1-2 for Ralph Alpha Motorsport. Third was Clint Gogo. Fourth was the captain. Fifth was Dan. Sixth was Charm. Seventh was Kizza. Eighth was Dadson. Ninth was Dazza. Tenth, DJ Brain. Eleventh, Prusky. Twelfth, The Good Doctor. Thirteenth, Dilza. And fourteenth was SS Boy. And the fastest lap did go to Noble with a 154.845 on lap 21. Wow. What a race. It was amazing. It was, there was so much going on. It was hard to keep up. Front, middle, rear, didn't matter where you were looking. The, the battle in the first half of the race between Prusky and the Good Doctor was just hang on. And then to have Captain Dan uh, and Charm going at it as well throughout most of that race, was, it, you don't see that in a lot of the groups. It's, a, it's crazy to see. Oh, it's unbelievable. Um, just the way, yeah. To come from like literally last, yeah, I'm still yeah, I'm gobsmacked by that. That was an amazing drive. Uh, joining us in the box now is the man that did finish in second position, Benny. Uh, congratulations, mate! Great drive. Oh, I would have been better if I held out my team, mate. Yeah, <laughs> freaking penalties. I don't yeah. know. I kept getting penalties, so that stuffed me around. But congratulations to him. So Alpha one two. Yeah, nice beautiful finish. job. I was going to well say, done. as a team owner, you got to be pretty happy with that. I am pretty happy with that, yeah. yeah. If I had to lose to anyone, I'm glad it was him. Yeah. So, can't be helped, but all good. How's the stream? Yeah, uh, well, it's pretty good. A um, few technical drums at the start with, but that's all right. You get that. Yeah, that's exactly right. It happens. Um, I, I completely, I cannot remember what happened at the start. Oh, I know Kizza yeah. got turned around behind me, but I oh, I didn't even get to save the replay. Oh, yeah. Not I saved it. Oh, no, no, no. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Did, uh -oh. did it cut out, or did someone go exit? Uh, what's happened here? That's all right, but keep talking. Uh, yeah, so it was really interesting. Anyway, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Did you end the room there, Cyborg? I did hit circle. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> anyway, yeah, so the first, yeah, yeah, yeah. first corner was a bit uh, of a shamble. So I did stream my point of view, so you might be able to see a little bit from it. But um, it was, yeah, so we were side by side. And coming to the first corner, Kizzis braked early. And I've braked just after, but I had to take evasive action. So I've gone around him. And then it was about able to keep enough momentum up to keep on the inside of him, but we did have side contact. And then coming back down to the next left-hander, we had side contact again, um, which led uh, – there was a GRM car. I think that's Charm. Charm was there. I think Charm got into the back of Kizza, which was beside Captain, and then Kizza yeah. went around from there. So that was from my rearview mirror, so that's as much as I could see. Um, but we had side contact, and I'm like, we're trying. I'm trying not to hit him, but it's just you just side by side, and you're like, Ugh. so unlucky for Kizza. Um, but I wasn't going to um, back off any further um, after that first contact because I knew the hell was coming behind me. So yeah. it's it a bit like, oh, yeah. I, uh, it was side contact. So I was like, oh, it's one of those ones where you're damned if you do, damned if you don't. You you, you sort of if you go to redress it. You're going to get punted or you're going to get hit. So it's. Uh, oh, don't panic, guys. I got the replay. It's all good. <laughs> good man. Um, Try and share that one. <laughs> all right. So we're going to go through chat because the uh, chat's sort of gone off a little bit. So we'll just uh, go back there. Uh, so D says Maggie's going to be insane. Uh, 100% agree there. Uh, DJ Brain, congrats, Noble. Great drive, Clint. Um, Excalibur, looking forward to it. Uh, Maggie, I'm assuming. V8, Maggie's going to be fast-paced. Uh, Mr. Brent Noble, Brocky, Terry, Wardo, myself, Knuckles, we're all going to love this battle. 
Um, <laughs> Grim Death, Blacklight, when's the bake sale? Ha ha, very funny, Grim Death. You're a comedian. Oh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Excalibur, shout out to Brocky on his first call. Well done. Yeah, well done, mate. Uh, really well done. Great stuff. Uh, it's great to hear some insight uh, from you as well. That was really cool. Mm. Uh, Dan, congratulations, Noble, Ben and Clint. Uh, Mr. Brent, what a race. Uh, the good doctor, I think it's time to hang up the helmet. Oh, no, come on, good doctor. No, it's not, mate. You'll be right. We always said that this uh, this track was going to be the one that really hurt us. Uh, we got through it now. Now we can uh, get onto some stronger tracks for ourselves. We'll bounce back. We always do it, Blacklight. Ah, uh, Charm, happy to say I wasn't involved in that lap one incident. It was all kids and captain. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, I'm not touching that one. Uh, Terry's hey. actually... Tarmac Terry's got a question for you, Benny. <laughs> yeah, am I sweating? Yes. Uh, no, team orders? <coughs> oh. <laughs> team orders. <laughs> if, I had, if I hadn't have got, if I hadn't have burned a penalty, then it, 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 I was not going to give him first position, no. Uh oh! <laughs> <laughs> I, did, I didn't. I didn't think you were because look, the the way you were coming up on him under the brake zones in the last mm. three laps, I thought he's definitely going to go for a move here somewhere. And I did, but I just you could, did, I and you made it stick. But oh. uh, I could have had him because I, I was faster. So at in the last stint, I was faster, but I just got done with penalties, which was stupid. But. Um. Uh, Excalibur says multi 21. Mr. Brent, Game of Thrones is on the TV tonight, yet I'm watching Through House. That's actually huge. Well, come on. That's not even a competition. No. No, seriously. Uh, <clears throat> pardon me. Uh, so, also want to say a massive thank you to our viewers tonight, uh, especially with the technical glitches we did have at the start. Uh, I really do apologise for that, guys, on behalf of all of us here at Thrill House. Um, don't worry, I will rectify it. I will get to the bottom of it. Uh, it will be fixed, uh, as you know what I'm like. I'm pretty determined in those kind of things. Um, huge thank you to Claude last night. Uh, uh, Claude last night, we'll try again, Claude tonight, uh, for hosting Sober Wars, well done mate, uh, really do appreciate it, uh, thanks to Benny for joining us in the box, um, <laughs> congratulations on your second spot mate, well done, um, I want to say a massive thank you to Brocky, aka the Cyborg, um, thank you for joining me in the box mate, hope you enjoyed it, that's okay, did you have fun? I did, that's good. Uh, good to hear it. I did. It was just. It was hard to keep up with everything. It was uh, yeah. a, a great experience, to be honest. Yeah, like you, yeah. you it's it's good to have the two people because you can you have one person trying to keep an eye on other things at the same time. So yeah, yeah, but definitely. That, that race was all over the place. There was so much going on. It was ridiculous. Well, we did say it was a classic Group B race. <laughs> it was. I mean, that start was classic group B. I don't know what happened after that, but it was. Uh, so driver of the day, I did. I was having a look there. Driver of the day will be Noble. Um, yeah. Let's not even argue about it. Because, uh, no. but he's been absolutely benchmark, top of his game. Uh, to drive from pretty much last to first. Um, yeah, you, there's not much else you can say about that. Uh, so. Yeah, <laughs> or Mark's. Uh, well, yeah, Mark Scaife's. Was it Mark Scaife in Adelaide? Or was that Lowndes? I'm trying to remember. remember no, it was we, Lowndes. Adelaide. Was Lowndes. Yeah, it was Adelaide. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, Adelaide. Yeah. yeah. Um, coming up on Through House, guys. Uh, Wednesday night will be Hump Day with the Porsches. Uh, so really looking forward to that. Uh, that's going to be fantastic. Uh, so please join us for that. That's going to be awesome. Uh, Thursday night, we do round off round three uh, with the Super 2 Group B boys having their turn around the ring. Now, what's interesting with that as well, we had a couple of Super 2 B boys had a race tonight, so they'll definitely get some, pick some tips up on when to improve, uh, which is really cool. Uh, do you have anything you want to finish up? <clears throat> Any closing remarks there, Ben? Anything you want to say? Yeah, mate. Actually, um, I want to commend SS Boy and Dilza for um, great awareness 
with uh, with especially myself. I did get caught up with SS Boy there for a little bit, but um, great job on race etiquette, I dare say. So that was that was nice. Ah, good to hear it. Excellent. No, I like hearing things like that. It makes me feel all gooey inside. And uh, Team Alpha. Yeah. No, I can beat us, so that's all good. Oh, there we go. Shots fired. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Uh-oh. Cyborg or Brocky, do you have anything you want to finish off with, mate? Any closing remarks, word of the day, any insights? Uh, could you Your um, password for your program from Skynet, if you want to give that out? <laughs> I, cha- I change that like every few hours. Um, <laughs> no, look, the first lap, um, oh, I was in the safety because I didn't really get to see what happened um, in the first few corners. But from there on out, most of that race was very clean. Amazing racing by the guys, especially, like I said before, the three uh, step-ups from um, down at Super 2B um, to to position the way they were was quite good. Um, amazing race by DJ Brain. Yeah, uh, For his first race. Yeah. Mm. He so was on a different strategy too, wasn't he? He, he, he put it on went, lap six at the start of lap six, like end of lap five. Nah, yeah, he w- he went on a four stop strategy. Um, lost him time overall. He didn't have the pace to to make that work. Um, but you know that that's that's learning, I suppose. Yeah, that's true. He did well. You know, we had, had both both of the Dint Brothers too. cars. Yeah, well, both Dint Brothers cars went on different two different strategies, and um, you know, for a while there, he was up in the top four. And uh, yeah, it was just having to do that last stop, which took it out, took it away from him. Yeah, excellent. Yeah, oh. couldn't couldn't agree more. <laughs> One thing, if I can note, that I was very surprised with was the tire drop off that Clint had. Um, I was, I, did, I, th- I knew it was quick, but I didn't think I had the pace to beat Clint or at least Charm and. Even though it get close, I'd still pull away and then end up with at least a five to six second gap by the time he pitted. So I was just, I don't know if it was a strategy thing, or not a strategy thing, a tuning thing or, he, or what it he, was. But, he um, needed to save fuel. Um, mm-hmm. He definitely did, but he had better tyres than you throughout the stint, but you were still putting able to put in better lap times. Um, having yeah. raced the Hyundai, I can tell you... It, once the fronts are gone, yeah, it, it's one of the worst cars to handle. But it's still predictable, um, so you can sort of still drive it hard. He he lost out big time um, once he went once he got like two or three laps into a stint. Yeah, bugger. But you did amazing, and and Noble was he had better tire even he had the best tires in the field throughout mm. the entire race. I don't know how he does it, and he's just quick. Like when we were practicing, first three laps, I could stick. We were stick with each other, but once we got to that fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, especially on the first stint, he was light night and day quicker than I was. And I don't know, he's just he was just able to handle a used tire. So um, props to him. I don't know how he does it, but I want some of it. Probably a lot of practice in the FIA, um, mm. having to learn to drive the car. With bad tyres, it just yeah, exactly right. Yeah, well, there you go. Well, well, my do might leave it there, guys. Uh, so, uh, massive thank you to all our viewers tonight. Uh, you guys are amazing. Uh, thank you to everyone who donated the bits tonight. Uh, love your bits as always. Uh, as I said, massive thank you to Ben for joining us tonight. Massive thank you to the cyborg uh, for joining me tonight in the box. A massive thank you to Claude for hosting Soda Wars. Be sure to join us on Wednesday for Hump Day, the Porsche Super Cup. And then Thursday night for Super 2 Group B from the fantastic Nürburgring. Um, Other than that, guys, uh, this is Sean, a.k.a. Go signing off for now. And as always, you've been watching Through House. Hashtag alpha. Cut out. The video is fine. Oh, shit.